Okay, so, um, here it is, uh, another video. I uh, have had an interesting couple of days. I um, am showing, well, what's on my desk at the moment is a lot of scraps. Uh, these are mostly, uh, and some of you may recognize what it is from a couple of videos I've done that have shown me uh, packing up orders and stuff. These are the remnants of what I wrap my packages in. Uh, and some of them are, you know, the, the direct cutoffs, and some of them are off cuts or the ends that weren't quite big enough, or when I just inadvertently get it wrong altogether which does happen on a reasonably regular basis. But as you can see, I have a not insignificant pile of these, and I've been racking my brains for a while on what to do with them. So there's even, like, there's just, there's just so many. Oh, that's not a, that's scrap of tea dyed paper but most of them are from the process of packaging up orders and you can see some of them you know don't have the paper and some of them do um, so I've been trying to think of what to do with all of these because you know, I certainly am not going to have enough journals to do belly bands out of all of this, which is one of the things they could be used for. I've considered making those kind of collage things where you cut all the pieces the same size and then you layer them on the paper, you know, so it's kind of a geometric pattern. I've also thought about the ones that are, you know, not the off cuts, but all the ones that are, you know, this size. I've thought about joining them together, you know, finishing out the paper on them and just making one long kind of snippet roll of these and, and using that. I, you know, I don't know. Like somewhere in my brain I've been telling myself, well, they have to be matchy-matchy, but I don't suppose they really have to, you know. I just made a big long roll of it. So that may be what I do with it. But I also thought I would ask, you know, as long as I'm doing these videos, does anybody have any suggestions or ideas? I know there are probably other people that package their products this way or have, you know, this size scrap. What would you do with it? What do you do with it if you have your own? Like, I'm open to, you know, ideas doesn't hurt to put it out there. Maybe nobody says anything. Maybe somebody has a really fantastic idea. Who knows? But if you don't ask, you might never know. So there is that. Let me pull these off here now that you've seen my giant. And this, I don't even think is quite all of them. And this is just from the past couple months. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to show is this is, um, I'm getting ready to list some new index card lots because we've had a little bit of a run on them. Um, and I don't have the ability to make any more at the minute. However, I'm hoping that will change in the next week. I got my fingers crossed um, on possibly some good news, but uh, I don't uh, have any confirmation yet and I don't want to get ahead of myself and start thinking things are going to be a certain way because this year's kind of been a financial kick in the teeth and I don't think I'm the only one I've heard other people talking about you know their financial circumstances and the, and the you know a lot of it's good but you know I think a lot of people are 
struggling a little bit and so I just don't want to like think things are going to be this that suddenly things are going to be all okay because that's generally not how life works but this is um, what I have right now I'm getting ready to put up some uh, new index lots um, I think by Saturday or Sunday I should have new coffee dyed lots up I have been totally wiped out I think there's like one coffee dyed lot left in my shop I think it's a 25 lot don't quote me on that but <laughs> we still have lots of dip dyed paper but the coffee dyed paper uh, there was a little bit of a run on it probably people getting ready for their uh, their fall gear up it's awesome I love it <laughs> it just leaves me with a lot of work to do and I appreciate that because the tea dyeing coffee dyeing uh, really does keep me busy and makes me happy so these, uh, when I made these, I made a batch of, I think, 300 of each size. So the 5 by 8, the 4 by 6, and the 3 by 5. Um, and these are some of the grungiest ones I ever made. And I didn't, was not specifically trying to make them super grungy, They, but I love how they came out. So I'll just do a quick flip through on those. And this is indicative of what's going live in the shop. I'm actually hoping to get those photos a little bit later today, which means they might be up by later. The, ooh, <laughs> that was kind of exciting. Which means they might be up by late this evening, um, you know, depending on if my energy level uh, keeps up, which I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. So, yeah, these are super, super grungy, really great marks, good color. Awesome. Love them. I'm probably going to have to kind of flip through these a little bit because these don't, because the size is smaller. But you can see, and I'll push this back a little bit. They're dark. Uh, here's something white for contrast. Uh, with these, uh, because they are so dark, the lines uh, on the index cards have, for the most part, been obliterated. Um, these are from a, a drying rack, so they kind of have new lines built in on some of them. Uh, let's see. Got some really splotchy stuff here. Some good dark grungy. So these are the grungiest ones I've ever made, and the ones that are going into the store that are coffee dyed will be just like this and I may in fact just make up lots out of the rest of this um, and go ahead and put up everything with the hopes that coming up shortly I will be able to afford some more index cards so and this is the 3x5 and I'll a little bit there as you can see super 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 grungy I, this was like a pleasant surprise. I did not expect them to come out this way, but boy, are they awesome. So if you were getting ready to do a Halloween journal, or you just like grungy in general, uh, to some extent boho, but boho's probably not this grungy. At least not the kind of boho when I like to make boho. And so there we go. Yeah, I think I might just go ahead. I think it's only, I might get, because there are 30, well, I usually do 75 lots with the 25 of each kind. I might get one more 25 lot, but I will be putting in some 30 lots as well for the coffee dyed, which is a new uh, size for me, or a new uh, quantity for those cards. Um, just because some people may not want a 75 index cards. Um, so there will be some 30s and some uh, 75s. I think I can get at least one more 75 and maybe another uh, 30 lot out of what I've got here. I'll just have to see when, I, when I'm done making this video. And I, so there's all that. And I think that's all I've got for today. Um, I had a great time at Natasha's live chat yesterday where we talked about the wonky dangle. 
if you want to know what that is, you'll just have to go and watch it. It is a little bit long, but the the shenanigans began fairly close to the beginning and went, you know, most of the way through the chat. It was just a fun, good time. So if you are interested in hearing about that, um, I will link Natasha's channel in my description box. She does uh, crafting almost every day. You know, everybody needs a break every now and then. Things go wrong. But she's on almost every day, 10 uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and it's anywhere from approximately an hour and a half to three hours for her stream, and she's always working on something different. Right now, she's working on uh, beaded things, bracelets, dangles, keychains, charms for journals, uh, and those pin glue things, I think, she, you know, the, the dangles with the pin on it that you stick in your glue. I think she might do those as well. Um, so that's what she's working on at the minute, but she has also done uh, journals and tags and ephemera. Um, and it's fun banter. Sometimes she gets on a soapbox and she has a little rant. And it's just a good, fun place to hang out. Everybody there is incredibly welcoming. It's a good mix of people. Sometimes it gets a little crazy and a little naughty and other times, you know, people are there for one another and it's that kind of environment where people are offering support to somebody who needs it. Um, it's a really good community. So if you are interested, I will have the link below. You should go over and check out a few of her videos. Definitely worth your time. Um, and I think that's all I have for today. I will be showing in a couple of days where how far I've gotten on my um, altered book with my 365 uh, collage project and um, probably more ranty things and whatnot. I don't have anything else that I'm particularly working on. I had started to clean up my desk area. I still have not found my creepy Tim Holtz people, which I'm super disappointed about. But I do, I will admit, if you could see my space off camera, I mean, this is bad enough. I really need to change this paper. But if you could see what's off camera, you would be probably mortified. There is a lot of stuff uh, that needs to be put away, organized, finished, <laughs> and so on. Um, but that is all I'm going to have for today. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Uh, school is going to be starting back here real soon for us. Uh, school starts back on August the 6th for most of the grade schools. Uh, middle schools and high schools here in the Phoenix Scottsdale area in this general area a few of them start later in the month uh, ASU starts back sometime between the 11th and the 18th so we're going to be seeing a big influx uh, we've already seen a little bit of an influx of college students and people returning from uh, the summer away and you know of course harried parents uh, trying to get their kids ready for school so it's coming up real fast for us. I don't know what it looks like uh, in your neck of the woods um, because every state is different on what they do and even different places within the state are different. But that's what happens in our neighborhood. So on the 6th, there will be happy parents at bus stops and sad children at bus stops. And of course, a few happy children at bus stops. Those are those of us that always like to go back to school. Um, and ASU's uh, fall semester will start, um, I'm not sure the date, I would have to look it up, but it's generally sometime between the 11th and the 18th they go back. So, um, thank you for watching my video all the way through if you have made it this far. I hope whatever time of the day or night you are watching this, whatever day it is, that you have an amazing, fantastic day, and that you are filling your life with things that bring you joy and happiness. Smile at a stranger today. You never know what they're going through. That smile might make their day and lift their spirits. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.